Hi, Christina here, and I'm gonna give you a look at the curriculum we used for our history study of Canada this year. Now, we studied Canada for the entire year across many different subjects, and this is focusing just on the history portion that we did. Now, we actually used two completely separate resources, but because we used them together, I thought it would be simpler just to do a review on them together and to show you how we made that work. So the first one is this book here. This is The Story of Canada by Janet Lunn, Christopher Moore. And then we used Canada, A People's History. It's a 15 CD set from the CBC. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and give you a look at the book and a quick look at the CDs. And then I'll give you kind of the rundown of how we made it work and what we liked and didn't like about it. So this is what the book looks like. It is hardcover. I'll show you the inside here. So here's the table of contents. There are 11 chapters as well as an epilogue. It has the page numbers here. The whole book is about um, 330 pages. So here's the first chapter. It has some great artwork along the way too. I'll just flip through a few pages so you can kind of see what it looks like. So the first one is a very short chapter and that's it. Now one thing that I did like is I like these little um, boxes here just because it kind of broke it up a bit in terms of reading. I'll just flip through here for you what the rest of it looks like. So there are a lot of pictures in here and um, they have information on the side as well, little extra things. And I'll show you at the back of the book. Have here the dates and order of events which is helpful and then they have after that is the picture credits more information and then there's an index as well which is always helpful and at the very end it just talks about the authors and the illustrator as well so that's what that book looks like inside so here's a quick look at the DVD series, and I apologize for the glare there. So it's broken up into four different cases. This one has three CDs in it, and this one has four in each. On the back, it gives you a summary of the episodes and the time frame that they cover. So it starts around 15,000 BC. This one goes up to 1815. Here's the next one. third one and the last one here that kind of gives you an idea each of the episodes are about um, an hour and a half long so again that's just what they look like there I want to show you inside real quick too because here it actually gives a little bit of a description for each episode each disc you can see there just kind of more in depth and they have it of course on their website and such which episode kind of what occurs in each episode just so you can see So the way that we made this work was I went through the story of Canada and then I went through the CDs and I looked at the timelines. So the book, um, it does mention dinosaurs, so it talks about 75 million years ago, um, but then it really starts talking about, about 10,000 years ago, um, whereas the DVD started around 15,000 BC. So I went through and I went ahead at the beginning of the year and made up like a chart to see what we would need to read and then which video would reinforce watching what we had learned about. So we typically, for the most part, it worked out that we would read half a chapter one week, the second half of the chapter the next week, and then the third week we would watch a video which would cover what we had just read to reinforce it. Um, there was a little bit where it was different. We sometimes watched two videos, two weeks of videos, um, especially towards the end 
but overall that's typically kind of how it worked and it worked quite well it was nice to kind of read something and then when you're watching it for it to be like oh yeah I remember this um, which was good it was definitely it worked well um, we're going to use these again in the future we plan to do Canadian history again in a couple of years and we will definitely use them both now um, what I liked what I didn't like so the textbook is a textbook there's no narration activities no literature to read with it it is simply a textbook and so that could be kind of um, slow kind of boring sometimes you definitely have to add in your own activities I think because we were studying um, history as well within some of the reading we did we were reading those books we were still doing other activities at the same time which made it a little bit better um, I liked how current it is it goes all the way up to 2016 it's currently 2018 when I'm filming this so it's very current which is nice it does offer a wide variety of opinion on history and like I showed you it has those little um, boxes with extra information and it has lots of pictures so really great information there I found it all to be very credible very factual um, so I did enjoy that now the DVDs they only go up to, I believe it's 1990. Let me check. Yeah, it only goes up to 1990. So one of the downsides of the videos is that you're missing pretty much the last 30 years of history, which was too bad. But overall, I really love the videos. Like, I really love them. I enjoyed watching them. My husband enjoyed watching them as well. He would often watch them with us. Um, it was kind of hit and miss for the kids. Our kids are 1, 4, 7, 9, and 10. So they like some of it. Some of it they found a little boring. Um, because each episode is about an hour and a half, we typically watch 45 minutes. And then we come back another day or another evening and finish the other 45 minutes. They were allowed to draw or color or play with something quiet while we watched as well if they wanted to. So again, they really liked some of it. Some of it was a little slow for them. One thing I really liked about it though, is that whenever there's somebody speaking in the videos, it's based on actual writings, like a letter that they sent, or something written in the parliament, or it's not just fictional, it's actually um, written, it's nonfiction, which I really liked, and they had some great actors in this. I also like the mix of, they had the French side and the English side, um, and they actually have a video in here about the making of this series and, and the difficulty they had in merging the two different views because they were enemies essentially in early history, the French and the, the British and the French. And so they wanted to show both sides of that. And I think they did a really good job of that. The other thing they wanted to make sure they showed was the First Nation perspective. And I think they did a fantastic job. There was so much that I learned um, about history and especially about the First Nation that I didn't know that I wasn't aware of. So very very good in that way in terms of what we didn't like the videos of course there's war scenes there's violence I didn't feel like it was over the top again my children are quite young and I was okay with them seeing it if your children are sensitive you may want to consider editing or just showing some of it and the other thing there was there's a few times where we had to kind of stop and talk to the kids I remember um, I believe they were talking about Captain Cook or one of the early um, voyages kind of over on by Vancouver Island and about the natives and the women coming on board the ship and um, some immoral behavior going on and so we had to um, have a discussion about that. In the last set as well, they do have a woman sharing her experience um, giving herself an abortion as well. And again, it's her words, it's her own written words. And that was another time we had to stop and have a discussion. They talk about birth control as well. And of course they talk about the 60s and that kind of free love movement, although not as much as I was actually expecting it. So if you have topics that you're not sure your children are prepared for, or that they're more sensitive to, or your family values perhaps don't go along with it, then I would highly suggest watching it ahead of time or just picking and choosing certain things. But again, it worked really well for us. I really like the mix of the two together. We're gonna go ahead and use it again, like I said. Um, if, there have, if you have any questions uh, about how we put it together or about each of these two curriculums or programs, 
let me know down in the comments below and I'll try and answer them for you. Otherwise though, I hope you're having a great day. Take care.